Hi, my name is Vittorio and I'm an owner of this uh, Onan 7000, but whatever I'm covering this video also works for the 5500, I believe. And if you're getting a combination of error 58, which is the exhaust is too hot, and three, but it's really 58 that gives it away. Um, in this video, I'll show you how to fix it because I follow other YouTubers that have tried to fix this and got all the way to the end, but then realized at the end that it was the intake manifold. So watch all, this whole video to see how can, you can fix it yourself. It's not too easy, but it's not too hard. So check it out. So if you have a on a 7000 of 5500, you experience the surging, the, 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 the engine is running lean, goes, uh, uh, like in this video. <laughs> Try all the things that they tell you. They put the uh, carburetor cleaner, the sea foam, all that stuff. If that still does not fix it, then most likely is the stupid money intake manifold. This is where the carburetor goes. And then here's where it goes into the cylinder. And the problem is that I've seen it from other another YouTuber that did all the diagnostic that I did, thank to him, and I thank him for that. But then eventually I had to take it to the shop to do this. So I did this myself. I'm waiting for the spare parts. And the trick, and I want to share with you, is that to get under there without removing, because the manifold is right there, right? So it's basically, it's like this inside there, right? So the way I remove it without taking the generator out of this was to leverage the fact that there are springs there. So I push them down like using this and get, that gave me enough wiggle room to take the manifold off. And then in a second, when uh, UPS delivers, I'll show you how I put it back in and hopefully that will, will fix it. I even bought a new carburetor, but that was not it clearly. So to remove this guy, you have to remove the air filter, which is easy, and then the carburetor will come out and then you can reach these. And the way I remove this is by basically wiggling a little flat uh, wrench in there and then by pre pressing this down I, I finagle it out so here's the new part looks the same but careful remember to take this bolt here and put it in that hole right there otherwise bad things will happen again okay now with the two gaskets in place and the uh, bolts I'm gonna hold the gaskets gaskets like this and I have to finagle this back in there. So I'm gonna go with the right side first. Okay, so now that it's in there, I don't know if you can see it. I need to squeeze, oh, it's not that hard actually. It's not too bad because I created enough wiggle room. So now I have to do this one. Oh, this may not be as hard as I thought. I'm in. I am in. So now I just need to. So there you go. I am in. See? On both sides. And now I need to tie this guys so the beginning is going to be easy and then i have to use a wrench but i am very happy because this was not as hard as i thought i'm very proud of you know this idea that i got here that was pretty smart of myself i'm pretty proud of myself right about now okay so now the rest of it is just tying these guys i mean the tough one is the is not this one is the one behind that and you have to literally go in there and do a quarter turn or less at the time but just have to be patient as doable you have to keep wiggling a little bit back and forth and then it goes down without much now that's in place we can undo these there you go see Without this trick, I would have never managed. There's not enough room there. I need to put these two posts in there, right there. 
you know how to do this right you take two knots you tie them really tight together and then you can use this to put this back on so you tie this together really tight and now you can use this to screw this back into place actually i'm happy that i did it afterwards because it would have been more awkward to do it with uh, this in place there we go and now you can undo this And now you do the same with the other one. There you go. If you didn't know this, this will change your life. Okay. okay, now we can put the carburetor back in place. So you put those, there is, there is a gasket, then a little uh, spacer here. In mine, I haven't seen it in other, other, other don't have this, but any for this. And then another gasket, there you go. And then you put the carburetor back on. Ah, I'm starting to feel pretty good about myself here. Let's see, this works. Okay, put the carburetor wires back into place there's one here one there you cannot go wrong because one is small there you go and the other one is big okay next we reconnect the gas pipe right here you're probably supposed to redo this thing but i don't have this latch here so i have to finagle it back in I'm gonna fast forward to the curses that I'm gonna. And there you go. I'm pretty happy with that. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for a grand finale, or finale, which is the right Italian pronunciation, so I'll put that back on. There is, has to be plugged in right there, and then this little, little, uh, pipe right here there you go easy and now we have this two knots that go in here and then these two bolts that go right here and here I'll put the air filter back on like that and it's cover don't judge the filter by the cover late afternoon joke there you go now you're gonna see a grown man cry either way because if it works I'm gonna be very happy with myself and if it doesn't work I'm gonna be crying pretty, pretty hard but let's check it out all right, let's prime the pump. And here we go. Here we go, we fixed it. I figure I document this in case somebody else goes through all the trouble. Because this, this other great um, guy, which I'm gonna link below, went through all the stages of diagnosis, but then had a shop do the final step. Um, so this is the final step. Enjoy and uh, hopefully it doesn't happen to you. Bye.